Mountaintop is an interdenominational nonprofit to help people who live in rural Appalachia in Tennessee. That's really our goal is to meet needs in a holistic way, um, to meet physical needs through home repair, but really to, to go further than that. What can we do together? Um, not what can I do for you, but how can, we, how can we serve together? And we're all empowered in that. We're coming alongside people that are really trying to make it. They have jobs, they're working hard, um, but it's just, it's just not enough. It just comes up short. My name's Patience Wiseman, and we moved here from Indiana. Um, we've been here about six years now, and I got three kids. Alex, Braden, and Elena. I love my kids to pieces. They're awesome. I wouldn't trade them for nothing. With my husband only working one job and me not working, it's hard to make ends meet. I love the children. The interaction with the children is what, what I love. I see students who don't have uh, clothes that they need. Shoes has been a problem with some of the children, but probably the thing that, that bothers me the most is that they, they're hungry because we have students that leave here and the next morning when they come back, they come back hungry because the last food they had was at school. I took my two youngest children, who are my grandchildren that I've had since they were one and two years old because they were on the street. My husband works utilities and I have taught all these years as a teacher and uh, we just, we don't have the extra money. I got a message on my phone from Tiffany from Souls for Souls. She explained that that you guys wanted to do a distribution in Grundy County. So we're look, always looking for ways to foster relationships with people in the community and just um, offer something that is gonna help meet their needs. And so as Tiffany and I kept talking, um, this vision of a fall festival just kind of came to mind is we can have this one day event and we can um, offer this to the community and, and we think that they'll come. I will never forget I was standing at the gate when we opened it that morning and cars were just flooding in. I mean, it was just this steady stream. The people that stood in line with shoes that were old and worn and it was watching a huge need get met and it was so affirming that we were doing the right thing. I heard through the newspaper about the fall festival. The coats and the shoes was a very helpful. I know that, you know, they're warm this winter and their feet will be dry. And... The resources that are available, I always use for them because their resources are, are not there. We went that day and they had a good time. It was a lot of fun. And we received coats and shoes and they got to pick them out. It was the interaction, it was with people with people. That's what's needed. They need to know they have friends and that they have people that care. Then they will try harder. They will work harder to do what's best for their children. To have the community come behind it like this, it goes to prove that it, it was right um, to dream that big and to pull it off and to do it together.